to my channel. I know it's been a hot second. I've been out of town on vacation. Uh, while I was on vacation, I got an ear infection. I've never in my life had an ear infection and I was in so much pain. I planned on filming while I was on vacation, but that took me out like real fast, real fast. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and then it was like draining and I was very like sick sounding and it was just not pretty, not pretty. And I knew nobody wanted to see me in that condition. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm finally back and I have a tutorial for you today using the new Anastasia Bubbly Hills Soft Glam Palette and then the new Omrezy Highlighter. Yeah, you're gonna see me using this one for a while. And if you have any requests on any other looks you want me to use or to do with this one, let me know because I am dying to create more and more looks using this using this palette and this highlighter. I'm done. I don't need to buy any more highlighters. So like nobody ever. But <laughs> it's just so so pretty. I was worried about it being a little too dark on my skin, but it works. It totally works. If you guys want to see how I got this look and just see how well those two items perform, just go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my eyes and I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion and this is the Eden one. I like this one because it's just like a matte skin color, kind of like a concealer would be. Okay, now I'm just gonna grab some translucent powder. This is the uh, the Mac and Patrick Star translucent setting powder, and then this is an, a Morphe M554 brush. And now I'm just gonna take this medical tape. And I'm just gonna take some medical tape and I'm gonna put it on the side here, so I don't have to do any cleanup work. And you can see I left like a gap or like a space on like the lower lash line so that it comes a little bit further down. I just find that that helps with the blending of my lower lash line <laughs> and it connects things a little bit better because like if you just had the line that went straight here and then once you did the blending of your lower lash line it would just kind of look a little funny so now I'm going to grab my beautiful Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette I've already got a lot of love out of this thing. There goes my brush. <laughs> so I'm starting off with my M124 brush and I'm gonna grab a Tempura for my first shade. Now I'm gonna grab my 573 brush. I'm gonna grab orange soda and burnt orange and mix them together and I'm gonna use it as my transition shade. And you can see I'm like kind of pulling it out here towards this kind of cr the tape in like this outer V area. And I'm pulling it in this kind of like a straight line like this. Now I'm grabbing my M433 brush and I'm going to take a little bit of Dusty Rose and then a little bit of Rustic using the same brush. Starting with Dusty Rose and I'm going to deepen this up just right here on the lower part of where I put orange soda and burnt orange. And now I'm taking Rustic and I'm going to start stamping this in the outer V area. Now I'm going to take this E17 brush and I'm going to take Rustic again and I'm going to pop it on the inner third. Now taking my M506 brush, I'm going to go in with the color Mulberry and again just build up more of this outer V area. And 
Now I'm going to take this white concealer. It's from the company called Hashtag Pro Artist, I believe. It's kind of hard to read it since it's white and it's white print. <laughs> but yeah, Hashtag Pro Artist, any white concealer would do the trick. And I'm just going to create um, the halo eye kind of cut crease look here. And now this is a B44 brush from Morphe. It's just a little concealer brush. I'm just gonna kind of sharpen everything up. Okay, now this is an M1 six seven brush for morphe i'm gonna grab a tiny bit of fairy and i'm gonna put this right in the center while well, it's still kind of tacky and now i'm gonna go in with rose pink on the same brush and I'm going to put it on like the sides. Oh my god, I hope this looks okay. Oh. I was a little worried there for a second. Gonna go back in with that 506 and just kind of buff out the edges of that a little bit. All right, so now I've done that step on both eyes. Now I'm gonna take this M515, right? Yep, M515, and I'm gonna take a little bit of Dusty Rose here. It's just like a teeny tiny little pencil brush, okay? And I'm just gonna take it right above that cut crease just to give it a little more detail. Now I'm taking this G28 liner brush. I'm gonna take Noir, it's the black shade, and I'm just gonna deepen up my lash line a little bit. And so I am going in with some falsies, but I don't wanna do major liner. And then I'm just going to go back in with that M506 and just kind of go over that. Okay, now I'm going to pull this off. Oh my goodness. That's sticking on. That's sticking on real good. Okay. <laughs> Don't make my eyes water. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and I will be right back. Okay, so now, now my foundation is on and my brows are on. I can breathe a little bit. <laughs> but now I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer. I've been really loving like the shimmer and the life that this gives to my face. And then I'm going to use the Morphe R2 brush. Okay, now for my contour, I'm going to go into my Benefit Cheek Parade, and I am going to take Hula, and just the brush that comes with it, and I'm just going to deepen up that contour, give myself some cheekbones. So like I said, I've been out of town on vacation, and I pretty much ate everything in sight. When you go to Disneyland, you can't say no to the churros. You can't. Now I'm taking Hula Light. 
and just taking it on the sides of my nose a little bit. And then back into hula and giving myself a jawline. Damn those churros. Why do you have to be so good? I'm taking Morphe R7 brush and I'm just going to mix California, Dandelion, and Raccoteur. Like the dimension that this gives when I mix them. Call me high maintenance. That's the way it is. I want to finish up the eyes real quick. I'm going to take my R1 brush and I'm going to take Burnt Orange and Sienna and run that on my lower lash line. Okay, so you see how I put that tape a little bit lower. Now it like matches up perfectly. And I'm gonna grab this M573 brush that I used before and I'm just gonna buff that out. I'm taking an M M432 brush, it's just an eyeliner brush, and I'm going to go into Cypress Umber and I'm just going to line the outer half of my lower lash line with this. Right now for mascara, I'm taking my Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Okay, now I'm gonna use some lashes that I haven't used in a while. I'm gonna use my Dodo lashes. And this is a new style to me. These are the, three, the D307s. They're supposed to be like that 3D mink eyelash look. I feel like I need to trim. Yeah, I need to trim one. Can you see that? I need to trim one cluster off. Look at how pretty and fluffy they are. These are the 3D style lashes, which means like, they're just like really crazy and fluffy. Okay, while I wait for that glue to dry a little bit more, I'm just gonna take this E36 brush and I'm gonna go in with Tempura and I'm gonna put it on my tear duct here just to give us a little more light. And now I'm gonna go back in with the G28 brush and the color Noir, the black shade. And I'm just gonna kinda go over where I put the glue. I put the lashes on. Now onto lips real quick. I'm going to take the Urban Decay lipstick. It is in the color Gubby. It's the metallic one. And it's like super nude, right? I'm gonna pop this like on the centers of my lips. The centers. And just like really cake it on. Now I bought something that I kind of thought I never would buy, but <laughs> when I was out of town, I went to the Morphe store and they were selling these there. It's the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick and I just couldn't resist this packaging. <laughs> Pink glitter. This is in the color Christmas cookie. And I just said, whatever, whatever. I re It's really like drawing me in and calling my name, so. Whatever. I just avoided putting that on the center is all. I'm going to take the Huda Beauty lip contour pencil in the color Muse. I saw a video on lip liner, or like making your lips look bigger recently and they they did lip liner after they applied their liquid lipstick. So I'm like, I'm gonna try that and see how it goes. And I put a little more gubby on. Now I'm gonna grab my Gerard Slay All Day Setting Spray in the color, or the color, the flavor coconut. 
And now for the best part, da -da -da. this is my Y14 brush from Morphe. I'm going to take the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter palette. Highlighter palette. Highlighter. <laughs> um, yeah, mine's already very well loved. As you can see, like some of the ripples are starting to go away. But, oof, so pretty. So I'm just going to get a lot of this on my brush. No, just kidding. And then tack off the excess. And I'm just going to start building this up. I have to like literally stop myself when I'm using this. Otherwise, I'm just going to put it all over my entire body. <laughs> So I'm sitting here accessorizing and I realized I didn't put my Laurel mascara on. That's what's looking so off to me right now. So, just gonna pop this on real quick. That's so much better. So now this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and the new Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Reezy Highlighter. Um, yeah, I have not stopped using these since I got them. Um, I think the only downfall for these items is actually with this one, it's just the dang velvet packaging. I hate it. It gets dirty so fast and you cannot clean it. Like, look. Look at all the spots that are already on it, and I've only had it for like two weeks, so that's my opinion on that, but the colors are just so beautiful. They're like perfect for the everyday woman who just wants something that's going to work for every day or for bridal clients. It's just such a pretty palette, and then the highlighter, I mean need I say more so <laughs> yeah if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up leave any comments requests questions anything down below I'd love to talk to you guys and subscribe and join my little crew and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>